How's it going, everybody? My name is Daniel from Hazardous Entertainment, and welcome back to some more Kerbal Space Program. Today, we have an initiative on our hands. There is science to be got on Duna, but how do we get that science back? That, my friends, is where the Jebnet Satellite Network comes in. Yes, the Jebnet Satellite System is, is a large rocket. It's a big old rocket that's gonna get us right to Duna. It's been a full year since we sent that first rocket off to Duna, and now we're coming back. It's basically just a three satellite system that I'm gonna put up at a 500,000 meter orbit around Duna so that no matter which side of the planet the base is on, no matter what time of the year it is, we're gonna be able to, uh, to get some science back. I put excessive amounts of satellites on here. I just thought it looked cool. I thought it made the satellite dish look uh, cooler. Do be warned, this is not going to be a pretty launch. The rocket is incredibly bottom heavy and that can lead to some problems like the entire rocket flipping over. So I'm going to have to break a couple rules when launching this thing. Do I have anyone coming with us? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about this part. While we're also there, we're going to be landing on Duna potentially. And while we're doing that, I need someone to bring blueberries back. So I've just put a seat <laughs> inside of here and we're going to send, ooh, who should we send? We're going to send Chadbury. Chadbury, I just rescued him from orbit. We're going to send Chadbury on his way. This mission needs to succeed because we're in some severe debt and if this doesn't succeed we don't have any more money that was all the money we had we can afford to launch another rocket if we don't get those blueberries back oh god oh dear god it's gonna be an ugly launch but we gotta do it chadbury chadbury how you doing chadbury chadbury's a level one engineer oh god <laughs> i had to do the whole i had to do everything you see here because of the fact i needed like the the mass up here and I needed the thrust down here. So I, that's the design of this rocket is all necessity, all right? Let's back up a little bit. We're gonna have to stick a little back from it because it's gonna lag us out for a little bit if we're not careful. Can't really pitch this rocket because if I do, it will break. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throttle down to two thirds. I'm, I've got horrible frames right now, but it's, it's okay. See, we're gonna basically have to be going straight up. We can't really do much of this 45 degree nonsense or else she's gonna flip any do. Oh, it's oof. Look at it vibrate. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, we're a little safer now to 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 angle at this point. So I've got these little thrusters on these little outside guys right here. Oh, here we go. Alright, now we're now we're burning. This is a gr actually, this has been one of the most successful launches I've had with this. I've tried this about three or four times just to make sure I had the taking off part down. Oh, here we go. Wait, that one ran out. That's not supposed to happen. What happened to, wait, what happened to my fuel lines? Uh-oh, is this still gonna work? It was supposed to leave that one in the center done. Uh-oh, okay, well, if that's the case, then there's really no reason to keep this guy around. Decouple, goodbye. Wait, no, 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 but that was my nuclear engine. Was it? Oh no, that was just a few, that was just the casing. Okay, hold on, I gotta think. This this mission's all screwed up now, because of that. Oh, it's actually, no, it's it's not too bad, actually. We're not gonna use as much of the nuclear engine as it first seemed. Oh, yep, and then. Yeah, look at that! You ever see me do something like? Oh, whoa! Look at that, you see that? Oh, so cool. This thing doesn't turn very well. I don't have any reaction wheels on it. Is this open? Has this been open the whole time? You were exposed to the elements that entire time, Chadbury, and you survived? Well, good job. I'm gonna let you close that up there. There you go. Chadbury is gonna become a, a, a new fan favorite. Kind of like Nate. And if you don't know who Nate is, it means you didn't watch the live stream. If you haven't watched the live stream, go do that. There's a card at the top of the screen right now. Go watch, go watch Nate. Go learn who Nate is, okay? Yeah, while I'm at it, also like and subscribe. Go ahead and like and subscribe. I'm just gonna plug everything. Uh, should I? I should go ahead and deploy the fairing, right? Yeah, good idea. And yoink. All right, we're in orbit. Yeah, so you can see we've almost got a 100% connection with Duna, but that's not a 100% connection. This system is gonna help that. All right, that's a good one. Um, so we're gonna take that burn. Uh, we're gonna go for it. All right, we got a three minute burn, but now, I know that we can burn and warp at the same time. They should have taught me that in the tutorial all those many, many uh, times ago. Come on, Chadbury, you ready to do it, Duna? I'm gonna let you plant the flag, buddy. You're gonna get to plant the flag on Duna and come home. That's gonna be crazy. So I can just do this? Oh yeah, I can warp times four. And it, and it keeps my stability assist going. 
Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, here it comes. Uh oh, here it comes. Is that it? Oh, there it is. Okay, perfect. All right, we got it. All right, what's that? Apple website. Oh, let's. Yeah, right on the surface. Yeah, let's just go right on the surface. Yeah, that's good. We're going to go to a 500. Thousand meter orbit and that should be good and that's pretty equatorial with the base so we can still land our our nonsense and get the blueberries back home and we're gonna go ahead and warp forward warp to our maneuver 40 50 days was that 50 days yeah 50 days warp to the maneuver Oof. it's lagging it's a lagging and dragging time warp complete okay oh uh, we oh shit we gotta get to that uh we gotta get oh my god it's we got we're running out of time we gotta get to that burn we gotta get to that burn real quick hold on uh-huh. Oh, man. Are we going to make it? Skirt, skirt, skirt. Oh, we're going to make it. Four, three, two. Burn. There we go. Yeah, I, I got to keep the maneuver. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> eh, yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> I need to get it pretty equatorial. I can, I can make adjustments, but that's, that's going to be better right there than having to do it while in orbit. All right. We're on our way to Duna. The Dune net's gonna be good. Jebnet, what's it called? Jebediah Netadiah. Oh, it's coming. Is that it? Jebnet, Jebnet, Jebnet. What is that? Is that Kerbin? Oh, I didn't think it was gonna slow down in time. Okay, uh, 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 what do I gotta do? I gotta go retrograde. Ah, uh, Nike encounter. Oh, whoa, whoa, you see all that nonsense? There we go. We're in orbit. Okay, so what we need to do is get our apple apps and our peri apps at very specific integers. So we're gonna head, what are we heading to first? Peri apps? We're heading to apple apps first. So I gotta get the peri apps down to exactly 1,111, 554 meters. Almost exactly. So that's gonna be a little bit difficult. Yeah, shout out to Vanilla Waffles. Uh, that's the youtuber that i watched i watched their video and that's that's how i got that's how i figured out these numbers basically Ooh. i mean I, yeah i mean might as well right all right and then we're gonna go prograde yeah prograde we gotta go a little prograde and then we're gonna bump up that apple apps exactly to 500,000, and we can start launching satellites and the reason we're getting these specific numbers is because by the time we do an orbit, then this thing should have done two thirds of an orbit. So that means every time we get to our Apple apps, booming and someone out, booming and someone out, and then we have the last one in its place and it's ready to go. They're in a perfect triangular orbit right there. Only a couple meters difference. So, oh, money, money, money. That's money right there. All right. So that's the orbit that we're talking about here. Let's head to Apple Apps. Wee! Can I can I warp directly to Apple Apps? I want to warp. Let's warp like right here. Warp here. Okay. Now what we want to do is wait for us to turn. We still got a minute and a half till we get to our Apple Apps. But once we hit our Apple Apps, we want to kind of pull out our satellite already, and then we want to you know send it on its way right when we get to the Apple Apps. Well, I could actually use this to my advantage right now if I wanted to. If I was really smart about this, I'd go decouple like that. Okay, so yeah, we got a little bit of a debris there. It's okay. What? What's wrong with you? Wait, no, disconnect. What's going on? What was that one? What was that coupler for? Uh-oh. Wait, hold on. Uh, okay, abort. Wait, hold on. We'll figure that out. Just send this one out. Just, just decouple that one. Yeah, there you go. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong with this thing? Well, we've missed- Well, we've missed our apolapses, so I mean... Why was the- Why did the engine not activate? You gotta be kidding me. All right, well, I think we can still, can we still push up our thing? We might just have to do some minor adjustments. I think we're still good. We're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna have to bite the bullet just a little bit on this one. I didn't want to have to do this, but we are changing Apple apps a little bit by a lot actually. So we might have to come in and do some funky town maneuvers with our, oh God, the Perry apps. I got fuel to waste. Come on, bring it back. Bring it right back. Bring it right back where you found it. All right, we're just gonna send these guys around on a little trip. Okay, now we're two minutes away. We have time to plan. All right, how far away is everything? Oh, everything's all the way over there. Chibnet, satellite, network debris. Oh my God, what happened while I was gone? <laughs> what did you guys do? 
Extend these solar panels now. Now that we're away from all the nonsense, extend all the solar panels. Why is this mission such a train wreck? Immediately. Immediately we got here and it turned into a nightmare. Now this time it's gonna work. Don't think it won't work, okay? Watch that parry app. It's gotta get to 500. All right, that's good enough. I don't, it might mess up over time, but who cares, right? Who gives a shit? Now that's good. Now if I go here and turn on all this nonsense, that's a green line, we got a green line. But the reason we're putting three up, you see how that's gonna make, it's gonna make a triangle. It's gonna make a triangular. I gotta figure out what's wrong with the, the rocket first. Hold on. Oh my God, what is all of that debris? What is this detritus? Okay, so what's wrong with you? Oh, I think I need to decouple that one. If I decouple that one. Oh no, is this gonna have that stupid plate attached to it? I hope not. Oh well, if it does, who? Oh, it'll blow up. That's why. See, is we're gonna follow this around. And if we do this right, we plumb do this correctly, then we should be fine. Okay, so I gotta decouple this. But, but like, okay, well I gotta launch something. So decouple from there. Nonsense, complete and utter nonsense is what I'm dealing with right here. All right, well, here they are. They're right next to one another. So how do I get you off of there? Do I just leave? Do I just leave this one attached to the vessel? Do I just, maybe I decouple elsewhere and then I just call it a day? But it wasn't supposed to do this. You were supposed to decouple, but the decoupler was on the wrong side? How did it end up there? And what's wrong with this? What's that doing? All right, pro grade, here we go. Boink. Get on up there. Get on up there. There you go, there you go. Oh boy, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Okay, that should be good. See, triangle, triangle. But but now for all intents and purposes, all we gotta do is get back to the other ship and put it up there. Wasn't part of the original plan, but you know, I'm not a rocket scientist. I make videos on the internet. As much as it might seem like I'm a very intelligent individual, I'm doing rocketry, I'm, I'm making plans. I make videos online. What is this? What is the big circle? What happened to my, oh my God. Okay, let me explain what that is. Uh, I had a mission to put a satellite in equatorial orbit kind of near the MUN. And every time I tried to do it, it would like get a SOI of the MUN encounter. And I finally got it where it said, congratulations, you passed the mission. And I guess after a year, it just kind of turned into that. So you know what? As long as it doesn't touch the MUN anymore, I'm satisfied. All right, let's get, hurry. Let's get to the network relay, network relay, network. Here we go. All right, network. All right. Let's get you to Apple apps and push you up and then we can discuss what we do next. See, look, the triangle would be perfect if it wasn't for the fact that I've screwed something up horribly. Is there a decoupler anywhere? Why is there a heat shield but no decoupler? What was I doing when I designed this rocket? Just no blueberries for us today. All right, that's our, that's our triangle. That's the triangle. Technically, the Jeb network is, is functioning. Look at those green lines. But how do I get you to decouple? Is that broken? How did that break? Chadbury, I, I suppose you could get out and take it apart piece by piece, but I don't think you're strong enough to pick up some of those parts. Hey, I could take a, I could take a magnetic report. I think that's a mission I have. I think I have a mission to transmit some science back. 84%, good enough for me. I did it. Hey, I got some money. Hey, this mission wasn't a total failure. My goal at the moment is to make this thing explode. Is that not too hot for you? Why can't you overheat? Look at how ready this vessel was to land. Look, I had parachutes here. I had, I had all these thrusters that were gonna thrust you, dude. And it was gonna get back. It was gonna go back. It was gonna take Chadbury back. Chadbury, you're stuck. Chadbury, you're stuck now. You're stuck to a satellite now. Chadbury will live out his days as a satellite until I'm ready to take down the Jebnet system. All right, let's go check out the surface. Uh, I mean, might as well, right? While well, this is stuck up here. All right, so I wanna show off the new and improved Duna Colony. Um, we're in a completely different location. It's a completely different vessel. I literally just took the old vessel and 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 destroyed it. I pulled all the Kerbals out and I destroyed the vessel. But the, the, old, the old Duna base was just exploding. All, it would, every time you get it, it would throw it up in the air and it would explode. So this one has been much more stable and I got the rover working. But anyway, we're here and let's check on their science. How much science have they done? Oh, they're really close. Yeah, they're they're close to being done. So we can now 
transmit all this science. Oh, don't run out of power though. It's a race against the clock. Will it run out of power first? Or will it finish first? Who knows? Who knows? We have to wait for, I think we're gonna have to wait for daytime. Oh, we're gonna have to totally wait for daytime. Oh, it's coming. Here it comes. All right. Hey, electric charge. Perfect, perfect. All right, now, now transmit the data. 497 science added! We got a lot of science on this mission. Holy crap. All right, uh, let's see. So it's still researching. There's still, a, wow, still a boatload of data to get, and it's getting four science per day. Hey, let's go over, let's screw it. Let's make it a science kind of day. Let's just head over to, to the other station, which I know has processed something in the last year. Yeah, let me show off this new addition I got to Olympus Station. This is a lander that I brought back from Minmus. Uh, I, after the live stream, we had to bring a, a, a rescue team or, you know, with, with some new items that I brought a rover and a couple other things to Memphis. Uh, I've got this. This is attached because at some point I'll need a Kerbal to go down and they'll use this or it might, might fuel it up and send it back to Memphis or something. It's just, it's just, it's a temporary facet. But let's see how much science they've got done. How much science did you guys get done? Whoa, 499, you guys are full. All right, transfer science, transmit science. There you go. Oh, oh, it's run out of power. Oh, oh, it'll finish, it'll finish. 499 science. How much science is that to go? Hey, Nate. Hey, Nate, how you doing? Hey, where's, where's Jeb? Jeb and Nate, Jeb and Nate, Jeb and Nate, Jeb and Nate. If you don't know who Nate is, watch the live streams every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Eastern Daylight Time right now. They're brothers. They're brothers in blood, brothers in Christ. Let's head back to the surface. Let's let's head down to the space center. I want to get some science. Let's go get some scientific research done. Uh, 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 uh. Look at that right there. That is a fully upgraded research and development complex right there. Oh man, can you believe it? All right, let's go in. Let's go in. 1700 science. Are you, are you kidding me? I don't even know what we should get. I know one thing I need to get. This thing right here, the hub max. So let's, let's research that and then research that. Boom. Right there. We've got some biggest jet flag, five meter jet flag. Anything is possible. But thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And also leave a comment down below. Tell me what you want to see next. But as always, my name is Daniel and I'll see you guys next time.